BMW is ditching electric cars and focusing on hydrogen engines. According to BMW CEO Oliver Zipsay, hydrogen fuel cells and combustion engines are indeed set to play a significant role in various parts of the world in the long term. And at a time when in the US there are over 2.5 million battery EVs and just about 15,000 hydrogen cars, that is certainly a pretty bold claim in 2024. But why exactly does such a big automaker, including others like GM, Honda, and even Ford, believe in this nascent technology that many people in the industry have coined out amidst the success of battery vehicles from Tesla? Well, folks, that question is exactly what we're going to try to address in this video. To start things off, folks, let's first address the elephant in the room, which is why is hydrogen appropriate for the vehicles that BMW is targeting. Because let's be honest, we've known that hydrogen offers much better advantages as a transportation powertrain for heavier applications like trucks, planes, and even ships in the form of methanol or ammonia fuel. But as we've seen by the success of so many automakers like Kia, Hyundai, even Chevrolet and Tesla in the battery electric space, Clearly, batteries suffice for on-road applications pretty well. However, this is where things get really, really interesting. Because it turns out that not only do you need the technology to be ready from a cost, scale, and manufacturing perspective today, but more importantly, you also need infrastructure bottlenecks and supply chains to be figured out. Meaning you need to be able to make hydrogen at scale from cheap electricity sources so that you can pass that on to the consumer to become competitive with the products that are already in the space. And that has been the main bottleneck for hydrogen, especially in the United States, where stations are extremely expensive at prices of almost $36 per kilogram of hydrogen, and they basically don't exist anywhere outside of California. If there was a large amount of investment and capital build out for hydrogen infrastructure, the cost is automatically going to start coming down. And that is exactly the point where the inflection could potentially start to happen. And it's pretty clear that that is what an OEM like BMW wants to bet on. Because when it comes to utility, a hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicle offers the exact same usage as your regular electric car. And we already know the plethora of benefits electric vehicles provide. Lack of noise, lack of emissions, significantly reduced maintenance, and also a much more pleasurable driving experience, especially for those more luxury tier markets. And essentially, hydrogen only boosts those benefits even more and takes away some of the challenges that electric cars have faced, which is charging time, infrastructure capacity issues, where the grid simply can't handle a large amount of power, and stations take many, many years to get permitted, and also cold weather performance because of the significant amount of capacity and chemical energy stored within such a battery. And this neatly brings us on to another big concern, which is that battery replacements around 100,000 miles due to a significant degradation in capacity are very, very expensive. Because as we all know, in a battery system, your capacity and your power factor are interconnected meaning you can't just add more range without adding a significantly larger battery and increasing the power of the entire subsystem. Whereas think about it for a gasoline or hydrogen vehicle, where if you want to add more range, all you do is increase the size of the tanks instead of increasing the size of the actual power unit. This is precisely why hydrogen is practical for longer duration and heavier duty applications like commercial vans, trucks and buses because at that stage you need a lot more capacity and not necessarily a lot more power and with a simple scale in production as well as manufacturing costs can come down to make this a reality for not only those applications but also the general passenger market and recently we learned that honda and gm's fuel cell partnership in michigan has also started to take on this bet where they recently just began production 
of fuel cell power modules for the same market we just discussed. Additionally, it turns out that more studies have shown that recycling a hydrogen fuel cell is also a little bit less complicated than recycling a lithium ion or a nickel manganese battery. These reasons, in my opinion, come very well together to explain why somebody like BMW, Honda, and even GM are investing their time and money into this technology. BMW expects to start production of products like their iX5 hydrogen in 2025, with a broad range of new products from SUVs to sedans to potentially even sports cars coming out before 2030. The iX5 itself has a range of 313 miles on a WTLP basis, which converts just to under 300 miles on an EPA. Certainly, there needs to be more work to improve this range, but as we all know, that is also going to be a byproduct of skill in this industry, and it's really all about getting that ball rolling from a manufacturing and a supply perspective. But as usual, folks, that is just my take on the situation. This is certainly going to be an industry worth watching, so let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below.